What is up everyone? Today on Seth Leroy Hustle Adventures, I wanted to go over my pros and cons list of starting a cargo van business at five months. And the reason I would like doing these once a month to show the progression, and I enjoy it because when I write them down, I'm like, okay, you can see how things are changing and how things are adjusting while everyone's debating on if they're going to do this or wherever they're at. Um, we got merch out finally. It's a uh, the first link in the description, we got a coffee mug and we got a t-shirt and I'm just gonna keep it simple like that. It's mainly to just showing support to the channel. If you wanna sip on some coffee, grab that coffee mug and uh, you know, dive in the adventures of having fun hustling in this industry. So we would greatly appreciate and it would be exciting if anyone bought it. But anyways, I appreciate everyone's support either way. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, first off, I like to go over the cons. Once again, the cons list is smaller for me. This is my personal experience, so that's all I can derive from what I'm going to say. So far for me, the cons. Fixes of services, like, okay, I had a valve stem that went bad. My tire went almost flat when I was in Iowa. I'm from Minnesota, but I ended up fixing it on the go with some of that uh, gooey seal stuff and I also like had to sit and pump the tire with an old pump at a gas station, but it worked. But that that's that's a little frustrating because yeah, it all falls on you. There's no one to like look around to to be like, wait, can someone, no, it's on you. But I do have AAA and I have roadside assistance with my full coverage, but I didn't utilize it because I just wanted to get going. I wanted to hustle another con taxes were new but they went well but it was a little weird like we didn't even know but we added up all of our this and our that like with our receipts um we only had a couple months on this year's uh taxes but everything went well and we got a good uh good return still everything you know we we set aside 20 percent of everything that we make profit so everything went good um and now another con that I notice sometimes is no job security in the fact that, yeah, it's not just like you wake up every day and you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to do that, you know. Um, so that that can be obviously a con, but as we get into these pros, but I just wanted to bring that up because, yeah, there is that sense of like, there's nobody that's going to just, oh, okay, you know, come in today. So that's the only con I see, but... I haven't had an issue with it yet because like I put in quotes, unless you hustle, I haven't had an issue with it. Now let's get into the pros that I've seen being at five months with my own business, own authority, finding the, my own loads doing, doing this thing. First pro, and I've noticed I put it on everyone first. Own schedule. Man, my wife had appointments, didn't matter. I'm like, she, it's funny, I can tell she's still getting used to it because she'd be like, oh, I, I have a whatever on Monday, is that gonna work? I'm like, babe, we don't have to like even think like that. It's funny, and she's like, oh yeah. Um, so that's something I've noticed, or like when my daughter had, and I know it, I think I talked about this on my last one of pros and cons so far, but like my daughter had her, um, conferences and then I was like I'm gonna go like they gave it an option for zoom and I said no I just want to go I'm not gonna look for runs and she's like oh okay cool and that's dude to me it was so fun going with my daughter not thinking about work because I don't get to go to the I didn't get to go to those things a lot before I sometimes did if they were after school but anyways I was just like so excited about that um and now this one vacation planning we have a vacation planned a couple coming up um and before that, she, it was funny, she said the other day when we were planning one, um, she goes, well, what about, oh, uh, well, we wouldn't get back till Tuesday. And I was like, who cares? We don't have to care. She was like, yeah, that's right. I was like, so it's funny, I can tell she still, and you know, because I like hustling Monday through Thursday. That is what I like to do. But I said, it doesn't matter. We can adjust. So it's just... That is, dude, that pro to me makes it all worth the hustling, the, like I said, the job security where you have to be the hustler. It all makes it worth it no matter what. Like, I don't, I never want someone to tell me if I have to, like, one of the things that pushed me to the breaking point at my last place was they didn't even ask me, they just put me for the 4th of July, and I had planned a vacation somewhere, and it had to be cut a day short because they didn't even, they didn't even ask me, and that was sort of like, you know, you guys know how it is at jobs. Some places are cool, but like I couldn't believe it. I'm like, no one talked to me about this, so that's big to me. 
Um, and then I put being in the moment because, okay, yeah, I go hustle for three, four days, which was hard on my kids at first and my wife and me. But like now it's different because when I get home, I'm a different person because I have no one to tell me when I'm going in. Like, it's just a different vibe. Even when I had those weekends, Saturday was the only day where it felt like freedom and felt like, what am I going to do today? But other than that, it was like, that was it. That was all I had. So, um, now the next pro that I've seen at five months is finding your own groove and consistent work and returning customers I've had quite a bit so that's what I mean like then then it starts getting to the sweet spot like I told people my first two months like my first month sent it up and my first month and a half of probably month and a half of starting was very stressful like we're talking like rough night sleeping like wondering what the hell did I just do but if you keep grinding that's why like dude I talk to so many people and like when they're talking to me about the issues, but then they'll tell me the things like they got runs and then they don't take it. And I'm just like, I mean, if you're not going to do the hustle part, the hustle part is the hard part where you're out and then you got, you know, that's why three, four days are going insane. Like I go insane hustling, getting, getting runs. And I don't even like, like, Oh, on a run that seems not the funnest, but it's good money. I'm taking it. But I hear so many people like, yeah, I just wanted to go home and I just left. And I'm like, Okay, that's what I mean, though. You, you. That's why it makes it so much even better when I get home and I'm just like, all right, I'm, I'm taking three, four days off. That's usually it. Three, four days off, three, door, three, four days out. Sometimes five days, and then I'll take a couple days off. But it's been amazing uh, once you find your own groove. But at first, it's hard. I have so many people. Oh, it's hard. And then some people throw in the towel, and I'm like, well, you got to get to that that cool spot. You know, that's when it gets good, really good. Uh, and then I put no bosses, and that's sort of like the schedule thing. But it's just. You're only impressing the customer. And like I said in one of my last videos, I had a broker give me 75 extra bucks because he said the customer said I handled it so professionally because they weren't, they didn't have their stuff together. You could tell they, they didn't, they were like, wait, you could just tell they were not even really prepared fully. And I'm like, da, 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 da. I, have my I always bring my tape measure in too. I'm tape, do, 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 measuring. I'm like, I have 127 inches. Like, that's why I always tell people you really need to know your dimensions. Like, don't. Like, you don't want to go in there and not know your dimensions. Like, know what your van can hold. Um, because if you go in there and they're like, oh, will it fit? And you go, I don't know. That's one of the worst things. Oh, I think it will. They're going to be like, okay, man. Like, isn't this your owner-operator freaking vehicle? Um, and that's why I put next, working hard for yourself and no one else. And that was, as you guys know, one of my biggest motivations was I was sick of just just working so hard and then when I find out all these accounts this place had not just this place I did like the place but like and just all the other businesses like how much they're making and in this industry you're not going to get rich unless you are out all the time you could you could make really crazy money but the reason I say that is like it was more about freedom to me and I am making some weeks I make more than I did at 55 hours a week at $24 an hour. That's with the 20% taken out with the gas, everything just, I'm talking profit. And I tell people that and they're like, how is that possible with the gas prices right now? It's happening. We're doing it. So I don't, it's happening. Um, and next, this is something I don't think I brought up in any of my pros and cons because it's something that I've just, I keep noticing over and over again feeling alive and I'm dead serious I didn't really notice this at first um because when I was stressed I'm saying but now like my wife too is like yeah you like I was always fun and exciting and had fun and uh was working on being in the moment because in my recovery that's a big part of the process but like you f I feel alive like I feel different I feel like like just alive. I don't even know. I never noticed that when I was in that cycle of working for someone and just, it's almost like you become a robot. I know a lot of, you know what I'm talking about. It's almost like you go in there and you're just like, duh, 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 duh. and then you're like, it is lunchtime. It is this time. And then you're like, Oh, I can't wait till I get to my vacation. Like that was one thing that was driving me nuts too. Cause I was at my place 10 months before I started this venture. I remember I was holding on though for that vacation and that was something that started getting to me too. That's why I talk about vacation planning and just, you know, that's why we work hard. That's why we save money. That's why we, we work on finances and we try to stay smart. But I remember holding on and I was like, I'm holding on to get a vacation 
that I deserve, like, and that I should get longer anyways, but you know what I'm saying? It was just like, that's when I was finally like, and after three years, you get this, and after five years, you get two weeks, and I'm like, dude, after five years, I get two weeks of fun with my family. You know, I was like, so anyways, that is it for this one, and I, uh, at five months, it's going good. I'm going to keep doing these, like I say always, every month, just to, you know, so the, the van right now is in the shop. It had the first thing that, because it had the valve stem, which was like 15 bucks, but this was $400. They give me a deal, though, because they watch my YouTube, and uh, they're just cool people, but um, they give me a deal always, uh, a percentage off, so... I think it would normally be about 600 for these two wheel bearings, especially in the economy right now, but they're doing it for 415 so definitely shout out to Jamie. Um, super excited um, and really grateful, but it's going to be done, they said, before noon today most likely, so we'll get hustling, we'll get on the road. But like I said, I have no worries. I'm just like, obviously I don't want it out of the commission when it's Monday through Thursday, but it is what it is. And then... I still can hustle till Friday or whatever the case is or we make our minimum or what me and my wife do is we'll put how much we made and then the next week we try to you know hustle that back or the next weeks we've done that before where it was no big deal but anyways thank you for watching I hope this helped people while they're debating on getting into this or people who are in it too just to relate comment below if you got anything to say about it um like share subscribe Hit the bell notification if you want to. Um, if you don't, that's cool. But if you got something from this, I hope you did. And everyone have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.